Is this the bunker right up here? Possibly. Seems like it's the only spot that it could be. Let's see if anybody's home. Oh! Quite a few! Hello! Hi! Uh, it took you a moment to notice! Honestly, I don't know whether I should be impressed or disconcerted by how long it took you to notice that I walked right into your face. But that's neither here nor there, as you won't be able to do much more than that after I'm done. <laughs> and that. That you're all right, yes? This is Gravity Hook 7 to Regulator Post 2X3. We have not received an all-clear signal. The strike team is on its way. Uh... Never mind. Signal just came through. Sorry, Commander. Some sort of comm disruption. Must have been another ground quake. This is support team to ground. That's one clear. Whoever you are, keep doing what you're doing. All right, vet. Let's go do whatever it is that we were doing. Again. Because why not? This could be fun. Honestly, them not knowing who I am. There's something fun about that. I know, I know, it's a little weird, but there is. It's just, you know, most of the time everybody knows who I am when we show up to a situation. But this is kind of delightful. No, like, this person on the other end has no idea who I am. I'm not the the wrath of the emperor or anything like that. I'm just somebody oh, there. helping. That was a close one. Yeah, just a little bit. These quakes are so something. So that's a gravity lift. Uh -huh. Not bad. Don't no. tell me we have to climb that thing. Oh, do you think we do? I hope not. If we do, Vet, that's going to prove to be tricky. Well, that was easy enough. I think we found the next bunker we're supposed to be in. Are they going to notice me any faster? Not at all, Vet. Look, I could just touch this now and none of them would notice. Really? All right, let's try it. This is Raspart to Regulator Post 2X9. The Archon's pet freak is cracking down on security, so we still need that all clear. Over. Coming in now. Got it. I'll let you get back to playing Pazak or however you pass the time. Vet, are you all right? Support team to ground. Remember I mentioned the quakes? That was a minor one. Interesting. Things definitely are getting more and more interesting as we go. Nothing like having a planet move beneath you to keep you awake. Guess the mercenaries aren't enough opposition then. I'll check in at the next bunker. Keep moving. And be sure not to leave survivors. Hmm, but she just told me what to do. You do know how that bothers me, right? We're going to leave survivors this time. It goes against my better nature. But they had no idea what I did, which honestly is hilarious. And it's just, mm -mm. I think I'm far, far too defined in nature to actually take that as solid advice. So what we're going to do is just keep moving. The fact that I was able to get a uh, dual blade just like my normal swords just for this purpose is so good. I'm so... Oh. oh, I just like that. I'm so happy we were able to uh, to get this in time before our trip to McKeb. It's honestly... This new weapon has made it such a delight. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I have. I honestly thought I'd either be back to the lightsabers in no time at all, or I'd be back to uh, my swords. But so far, this is fun. And... This is a quasi-vacation. It's more of a vacation than where we were the last time, so why not have some fun? I don't think I'm gonna get away with it this time. Again? Hello? Hello? Anybody? I'm right here. Ah! There we are. All right. Honestly? How did you not know I was here? I'm not quiet about it. We were talking as we walked in. Oh, okay, good. The, your friend over here. I couldn't leave you behind, could I? <laughs> All right, Vet, let's uh, handle this next spot. This is Gravity Hook 7 to Regulator Post 2X4. Receiving the all-clear signal now. 
Last one. You should be able to hit the gravity hook without anyone sounding alarms. Play this right, the huts will never know. You'll have to assault the hook's base, then take a lift to the docking ring. That's where the command crew will be. And what's your current status? Where are you and the rest of the support team now? Still in orbit? Affirmative. As soon as you've secured the docking ring, though, we'll come on board. We have identified a member of the opposition. The mercenary's overseer is the pet project of one of the huts running Macab. He's an alien Wifid, trained from the time he was a cub to be a hut cartel enforcer. Big and brutal. Thought you should know. Well, that just sounds exciting. Big and brutal. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Hopefully it'll be a fun fight and not an easy one. I think I found what we're looking for, but I think that this should be the, uh, oh, what is it? The elevator? Hopefully it's safe. With all the ground tr tremors and everything like that, I do worry just a little about using it, but it is what it is. I don't know if we necessarily, oh, that lightning is delicious. Have a choice, if you know what I mean. Oh, you! I'm sorry. Did you feel left out for a second there? Not to worry. You died with the rest of them. Uh, it's mainly because what was the last time that these things were inspected for safety reasons? You know what I mean? I just, I do worry that they haven't been and now we're about to take it and that doesn't sound very fun. If you know what I mean. Nevertheless, we shall use it. I don't think that they were overly expecting me, Vet, which honestly makes me very excited. However, this can't be the the uh, person I was being warned against, right? No. Couldn't possibly. That was boring. Let's see what's through this door. Maybe uh, who I'm supposed to fight is on the other side of it, the big brutish one? Support team to ground. We're in a shuttle and ready to dock as soon as you have control. I've got another favor to ask, though. See if you can get the mercenary's hut overseer talking. I'd like a voice print from him. Are you making a collection or something? Do you always take souvenirs from your enemies? Or is the overseer special? Get his voice print, and we can synthesize it when the huts come calling. Not one for humor, is she? I'll keep trying, sir. I'm going to make this interesting because I don't think you're expecting this. But one chance, you can surrender. Leave now and I will give you, you know, your ship and your life. And you're welcome for that. Tell your men to put down their weapons and no one has to get hurt. You can't win this fight. <laughs> The Archon? Who is this Archon you speak of? Your master. What's his role in the Hut Cartel? But what if I wanted to meet him? Honestly. Why can't I? That seems rude. I came all the way here to meet him, and then now you're telling me I can't? Not actually that I came all the way here to meet him specifically. Actually, I'm here for an entirely different purpose than what you think I'm here for, I think. Unless, of course, you figured it out right before you died, which, well, could be worse. That was supposed to be a tough fight, but... Honestly, whoever's on the other side of this, uh, calm doesn't understand us. Hmm. Yes. Support team. The docking ring is secure. You may proceed to board.
Take positions, everyone. Bedaru, scan the base. Captain Honthor, you're on comms. My lord. My lord Roth. I didn't realize they were sending... Sorry, if I seemed casual. No, 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 Sir, don't be. the huts are calling, but we've got what we need to fake a response. What answer should I send? Yeah, you make the decision. You've obviously been dealing with this for a while. This is your plan. Don't let me interfere. Tell them we're experiencing power fluctuations and need to shut down for repairs. Understood. I'm Catherine Niar, by the way. Eight years Ministry of Logistics, three months Black Ops Coordinator. Times being what they are. Lord Sitharat, tactical advisor. My life for you, my loyalty to the Empire. I'm here to organize the team and facilitate your needs. He'll suggest people to kill. Sitharath, was it? Uh, who is your master out of curiosity? You pledge your life to me, but who made you Sith? I would know your loyalties. The traitor Darth Malgus brought me out of the Academy. I am here to pay for his crimes. The Empire must be united. If we're going to steal McKeb's Isotope 5 stockpile, we don't have much time. Once the Huts figure out what we're after, they'll shut down our escape route. Fleets burn over Balmora to buy us this opportunity. We mustn't waste it. No, we mustn't. Our proposed target is Solida Hesk, Mining Corporation Executive. Secretly worked with the Huts to study Isotope 5 and sell out the planet. Interesting. She's hosting half a dozen Huts and their bodyguards at her private resort. But if there's anyone who knows where the isotope is stored, it's her. And can we lure her out, or is there a different plan? With that many huts in one place, the resort will be secure. What about drawing her elsewhere? Possible. But her terminals at home are hooked into the company database. We may need them anyway. Fair. A covert assault is best. I will have tactical feeds for you once you arrive. Transportation will be ready soon. You can break in, question her, and get her to turn over control of the corporate computers. Any words to your team before you go? Any words? Mm. No, I'm honestly, sometimes I like to make speeches. But today, today we're turning over a new leaf. I'm not necessarily one for grandiose. Do what you came to do. And don't look at me for inspiration. Wow. Looks just like the tourist vids. From the Mesa Peaks to the... Uh, dizzy... You Don't can look down. <laughs> but you're going to be all right. <laughs> I promise I won't look down. Maybe you too should not look down. Uh, hello. Displaying all authorized destinations. This is Lord Sitharat. There is a guard post near your landing position. I advise eliminating its protectors before they investigate. Thank you. We will do just that. Come along, Vet. We have something fun to do. Don't look at me like that. It is fun. Honestly, I'm a little sad we didn't bring Shriek to this, but I didn't know what the planet would be like. And also, just with all the ground quakes, it's probably for the best that poor Shriek isn't here. You know what I mean? Aha! I was wondering if you'd notice me. <sighs> Hello. I think that this is what... I was told to go in and look at, possibly. This. I am here, securing the line. Hello. I gather you felt that. Yes, of course. If these quakes continue, none of us may escape intact. Yes, well, that's fun. I don't fear the ground quakes, though. They add a little bit of excitement to the mission. Let the world tremble and tear itself apart. I am Sith, and I endure. As I serve. Solida Hesk and her corporation hold the secrets of Isotope 5. She is currently at her resort, hosting three hot clan lords. Manju is a spice trafficker and slaver. Kabisho is a negotiator and advocate for the cartel. And Prodoranya runs an industrial moon. Hesk has installed substantial automated security. And each hut also has a cadre of bodyguards. Interesting. Resistance is inevitable. Well, that's why I'm here now, isn't it? Because this sounds like a lot of fun. Handling resistance is the only reason I came to McKeb. I'm prepared. I do not doubt your abilities. 
The resort is built on a self-contained mesa. Isolate the mesa, and neither reinforcements nor fleeing witnesses will pose a problem. There are only a handful of landing pads around the resort, so I'd suggest destroying the pads and the shuttles. However, the hut's bodyguards are garrisoned at the landing pads as well. To cut off the resort, you will need to pass through them. Okay. Fantastic. And what about communications while I'm doing all this? The enemy will still be able to call for help, even if we cut off reinforcements. We can't hide the attack altogether. We can only delay word from spreading and disguise our objective. I will monitor your position and update you as I can. May the Force grant you strength. Well, doesn't this sound like fun, Vet? At least this time it seems it's going to prove a small challenge. I don't think it'll necessarily prove to be a large one, but we take what we can get, starting with you. Hello. You are the first challenge of this part of my day. I would say my entire day, but that would be a bit of a lie as we've already been on this planet for a bit. And honestly, do you really want to live through all these ground quakes? I don't think so. Probably not. That's all right, though. I'm here to make sure that you don't have to worry about that anymore. Manju, the Hutt's forces are ahead. These are his elite slavers, responsible for turning the royal family of Vena into chattel for the Narshadar markets. According to Manju, they also once brought him a Sith Lord in chains. Oh. I do not believe it. No, I don't believe it either, but even if it's not true, it's still a powerful rumor. One that I'm sure has made many people think about double-crossing him, or even just crossing him at all. Which is the point of such rumors. However, it's distasteful. And we shall now make a fool of him. I think we need to go... Hmm. Up there, perhaps. Let's see what else we can find on this hut while we're here. Vet, if you find any tidbits of information that you also want uh, us to have, but the rest of them to not have, I would not say no while we're here. Because honestly, getting as much information as we possibly can on everybody while we're here may prove to be a good thing. Just because we're loyal currently doesn't mean that we can't have a few different plants in our pocket, if you know what I mean. Hello! You must be the, uh, the head of, well, these forces, currently speaking, and you're definitely not going to live for much longer, so I would say it was nice meeting you, but that would be a lie. Now, let's deal with this. Out of the way! Ah, excellent. Sheesh. Hope the sabotage was worth it. I think I singed a leku. You did not, did you? I'm sure we have something that can handle that later, Vet. But come on, that was a lot of fun! Don't take this from me, Vet. You know we enjoyed that. Kobisho, the Hutt's servants, are near. They are Nikto, whose clan has served the Hutt's for twelve generations. Twelve? Ready for battle. They are also known to keep formidable pets. Stay cautious. Always. Formidable pets. Oh, now I am very sad that Shriek isn't here. Shriek would have enjoyed watching. Mm-hmm. Oh, what was... Where did you come from? Were you stealthed? <gasps> How delightful! You might be the first I've seen do that on this wretched planet. It's not that bad. I need to stop calling it a wretched planet because while I dislike being here immensely given the ground quakes and how dangerous it is and the fact that I feel like I could fall off the ledge and just, you know, that doesn't sound fun at any moment. However, it is warm and it isn't snowy and, you know, that in and itself has to be a good thing. Plus, it doesn't have that in sufferable moth here. Honestly, but if we had had to listen to him one more time, I might... Okay, I shouldn't say might. I was definitely going to put a lightsaber through him. Hello! I heard that you're very formidable, uh, but I feel like I'm proving that false right now, which is fine, honestly. I wasn't necessarily expecting too, too, too much from you, uh, but I was expecting maybe a little bit more. 
Uh, this is this is low. I feel like it's slow effort on your part. Out of curiosity, how much effort were you putting in exactly? Because it doesn't seem like it was a lot. Shall we blow this up now? Back up just so we could see the whole thing explode. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. So many explosions. Fantastic. Uh, at least that the last two trips we've taken have both included large explosions. And a lot of them. I'm kind of surprised how much the Empire trusts me around with explosives given my reputation. But better me than somebody else having them. Probably. <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, hello. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, by that, I mean I'm not at all, but I figured I would just stop by and say hi to you because you looked like you were having a little too much fun, and by that, I mean you almost looked bored. Can you imagine somebody of your caliber being bored while here? Mm -mm. That doesn't sound nice at all. Oh, there you are. Thank you. You are approaching a cluster of Proto Rania the Hutt's bodyguards. These are enforcers from his manufacturing plants. Brutes, not intelligent but physically powerful. They can survive breathing toxins 20 hours a day. They will not die easily. I don't know about that. I've killed them a fair few already and they're still dying, so. But that is impressive that they can breathe toxins for that long. Honestly, Vet, that is kind of impressive when I think about it. Nonetheless, they still died. All right, I think this is the last explosion I get to make for a little bit, Good. so let's enjoy the Mesa it. Is sealed. No reinforcements will come, and no one can flee. I suggest you proceed to the estate. Don't let your guard down. The hut security may be broken, but Solidahesk still has droids. All right. Thank you for letting me blow things up, at least. Provided some measure of uh, entertainment while we were here. So I take it straight that way, Vat, which means we have to go down and around and over. Should be fun.